What does an international tour, a sports tour actually look like? How does it feel on the ground? So I'm gonna walk you through our four pillars, learn, play, travel, and serve, and how those are all interwoven into the program design of a global players team tour. So first of all is learn. Uh, what's interesting and maybe different for us from global players is that we came from the background of a study abroad provider. So every single one of our sports tours has an international intercultural uh, orientation to the country that you're visiting and also language basics. You might have seen it on some of the other reels. We're teaching language basics based on where you're going. When you have a full cultural orientation and language basics, you're really encouraged to look at the culture in the host city or the host country that you're visiting. Play is not only playing in international tournaments or playing games against other teams, but that's a big part of it, of course. That's what you're going for, right? That's the special sauce. But you're also learning local sports that could make you a better athlete in your own sport. For example, if you're a lacrosse or a field hockey player and you go to the Czech Republic or to Sweden or some of the Nordic countries and you play floorball, your skills will get so much better in your sport or basketball. You can cross train in other sports as well and get even better. So play looks like games, matches, trainings, mixed trainings, international tournaments, local sports. It can also be team building activities, yoga, kickboxing, swimming, um, hiking, all day, surfing. Uh, oh my gosh, I could go on and on. Biking and all those athletic activities. Travel. Travel's the best part. We are going to teach you how to travel like a local. So if you're in Amsterdam, you're going to bike. If, well, a lot of places actually you're going to bike. Sometimes a coach bus is needed, but not always. You might be able to use trains. You might be able to use a ferry to get from one place to another. You might um, be able to use the chicken bus, bus like in Guatemala. <laughs> That's a whole other story. So you're going to travel like a local. The idea is that you and your team, so coaches, staff, athletes, administrators, anybody who's on the tour is actually going to travel. And the last pillar is serve. So if you're a service-oriented team already, serve while you're abroad as well, or even if you're not, serve while you're abroad a great layer to layer into your program itinerary where you're doing a school clinic or you're working with an NGO. You can have a half day or a full day service activity that's team building for, for you and giving back to the community that is hosting you. That's service.